Okay, so you've been in the business, of, and congratulations on being in the business a long time. Yes. You've had a lot of success. I saw that uh, early in your career, perhaps still in high school, you were in um, Arsenic and Old Lace. Yeah. As was I, except that. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, I read that you had been arrested before. Oh, had you? <laughs> yeah, but. For what? Yeah. It was trying to glue the locks of the high school shut on graduation night. Is there a law against that on the book somewhere? Uh, breaking and entering. Oh, but anyway. oh. <laughs> so, I, so, I so. love you. I, whatever happened, I love it. I love that you went that you were young and <laughs> fun enough to go just like make that happen. I, I haven't. I'm sorry, but I haven't watched any of these interviews before. Do they usually get this deep? Well, you're, <laughs> you're an incredibly deep person, <laughs> and that's what I mean, you just bring it. You're a slave to your desires. You have no control at all. You are busy. Hannibal and the fall happening at the same time. Let's talk about Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal is, uh, no pun intended, killing it. I mean, doing really well. Mm. People love that show. They do. If you think you're about to catch Hannibal, that's because he wants you to think that. Is it awesome even thinking about getting into the head of someone as twisted as he is? What is awesome is getting to participate in um, an iconic story. I'm a small character in a show with great actors and in Hannibal and, and uh, the fall is different. It's a two-hander, and I'm a producer on it. We all have physical, emotional needs that can only be met by interaction with another person. The fall is one of the favorite things I've ever done. It's extraordinarily well written. It's also a character that I am still uh, fascinated by, and I love uh, getting an opportunity to live in her skin. And I think she's. She's just one of the most favorite characters I've ever played. Sorry I'm late. Whether it's your character in the fall, playing the psychiatrist on Hannibal, or back to your Scully days from X-Files, is there one characteristic that you've taken from one of your characters that you bring with you into your everyday life that's made you a better you? Well, certainly, um, with the character I play in the fall, uh, Stella Gibson, in no spending time with her, I became more accepting of myself and the um, more complicated aspects of my personality, and at the same time, became more in touch with my own femininity and sexuality. Do you have any idea of the effect you have on men? Well, Which I find you very thing. feminine and sexy. Oh, thank you. So it's working. Whatever is happening I've there, it's all working. I've only been feminine and sexy for about two years. So oh, well, yeah. I'm glad we've only just met now. very masculine and, and slightly male. And mousy. sexless? No, and sexless. you were not. You were not. I think about a billion <laughs> X-Files fans and all your other fans would disagree. Uh, however, I like meeting you in any version. Thank you. Thank you for coming much. on the show. Thank you. I appreciate thank it. Thank you. Nice to be here.